Hello parents and boys, welcome to another lockdown workout. All right, for warm up today, nice and simple, I want you to set your timer for 20 or 30 second intervals and you'll be going through the following exercises. The first exercise, you'll be doing jumping jacks. So for jumping jacks, all right, what we're doing is nice and wide, open and close, arms and legs. Okay, second movement, you will be doing running on the spot. Okay. So you'll be running on the spot and then going high knees, running on the spot and high knees. So you'll repeat that for 30 seconds. Then butt kicks, running on the spot, butt kicks. Next three seconds, what you'll be doing is a straight arm plank hold. So you'll be going in a push up position and you're alternating shoulder taps. Just view from the front, right? Push up position and change sides. Last movement in the sequence, what I want you to do is get your back in the neutral position, grab hold your toes, and then squeeze your knees back and relax. Squeeze your knees back and relax. So that stretches out the back part of your legs. You're repeating these movements for two or three times in a 30 second interval cycle. Today's workout will be 20 minutes in duration. There'll be four exercises. You'll allocate one exercise per minute. Um, so first minute, you will be doing single um, leg balance reaches. Second minute, you will be doing plank holds. Third minute, step ups. Fourth minute, you'll be doing odd object lifting or odd object swings. And during the fifth minute, you'll rest. You will then repeat this whole cycle for four cycles. Right, single leg balance reaches. What you want to do here is go into one leg, right? You want to keep your back arched or curved, right? Then this leg will reach as high as possible while bring your chest down and you're going to reach forward, right? And back up. So the key is to put your hands back, put your leg up and you keep balancing on this one leg. So reach forward over there and back up. So from the from the front, Okay, reach forward and back up. And this is quite challenging. All right, so reach forward and back up. Reach forward, back up. Okay, the key of here is for this leg to be as stable as possible. Don't allow this leg to rotate in. You rather want it going out. Forward, back up. And what I want you to do is you keep alternating legs. All right, nice and slow. The slower, the better. Once the minute is gone, you'll be going into plank holding. What we want to see with plank holds is that elbows down, hands apart, not touching, right? You don't want your bum high. You don't want to be hanging your back, all right? Nice and straight, you're squeezing your tummy together, right? You want, imagine pulling your ribs toward your hips. So ribs to hips and you squeeze in that position. Plank hold. Third movement, step ups. All right, so you'll find a bench. Um, that would allow you to step up and you want the knee to be slightly higher than hip height. So for a minute, you're going to step up, lock out, back down, step up, lock out, back down. And you'll be continuing for a whole minute. The last movement is the more challenging one or uh, from a motor development point of view, the most demanding one. You've got two options. Um, first option is to get a grab odd object. Um, depending on how old your son is, um, you can decide how heavy you can, you can load it. This is a water bottle, it is a 5 litre, so it'd be 5 kilograms. Um, you get smaller bottles, you get bigger bottles, you can maybe fill up the bottle halfway if it's too heavy. But what's nice about this bottle, as you can see, it has, still has its little handle attached to it, which helps a lot. Okay, so for this movement, you either can do the following. Right, a safe pickup. So with this one, what you would want to do is, you want to teach your son how to pick up something without using their back. So you get back arched, grab bum backwards, okay, chest up and lift up. So what we don't want to see is that. So it's not moving out of the back. So chest up, bum backwards, you bend your knees and lift up. Bend your knees, lift up. Once they get that, you can progress them to a swinging action. Okay, so once again, there should be no movement in the spine. All the movement comes from the hips and the hamstrings. All right, you can start with small swings. The momentum is not in the arms. 
It's not in the back, it's all in the hips. Once they get used to it, you can swing up and down. Okay, so this translates to them learning how to develop force out of their legs and their hips and move safely without using their backs. Your fourth minute will be a rest minute. Okay, you'll repeat the whole cycle four times. So to recap, minute one will be your alternating balance and reaches. Okay. Minute two, you'll be going into a plank hold, squeezing your tummy. Like I said, imagine your ribs and your hips. You want to pull your ribs and hips together and hold that position. Okay. Step ups. All right. Don't rush the step ups. You want to step up, lock out the top, step down, change legs, lock out the top, step down, change legs. All right. The last movement is the odd object lifting with the object. You might have a rock or a piece of wood or a backpack. That's what a, you can even swing a backpack. I forgot to mention that. Right, so you can lift with a backpack, up and down, suitcase, up and down, and this backpack's got a handle. So you can do swings with a backpack too. And load your backpack with a water bottle or with books or with whatever you've got lying around, add a little weight. The idea is to give a weight stimulus. So it doesn't have to be, have to be too heavy, um, but shouldn't be too light. So they need to feel the resistance. That's it for today. If you have any questions, please get hold of your teacher um, or post your questions in the comments section of this YouTube video and we'll try to get back to you with the answers. Cheers guys, have fun.